Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to present you two things. First, the AIO tweaks uh, that I installed, and uh, especially the speedometer, which is the most fun part of these tweaks. And uh, second is the um, Android Auto, uh, which I'm using with the new USB hub, and the, um, uh, also the dongle, the new dongle that I bought. Uh, to have uh, the Android Auto connected to my phone uh, wirelessly. It is a very nice, very responsive dongle and very easy to use. As you can see here, I'm using the full scrolling tweak, so I can scroll from the last item to the first directly. And then let's start the speedometer. So this is the speedometer with the custom background that I chose. If you press the knob left, you get uh, this without the background. Now again, the background is on. If you press again. Tapping on the controller, you get uh, to change uh, the bottom uh, line of uh, information. There are four such screens as I remember. You can also <coughs> change this, the information that is uh, provided in each one of these uh, squares. You press, tap on uh, one of those squares and then press on the empty line below that, like this. You press it and then press under the rectangular and you get a new reading there you can do this with all this now if you press for a while one two seconds on the left you can change the themes of this screen as you can see there are different uh, colors you choose whatever you like and you can also change this in the themes uh, menu from uh, AIO tweaks with or without the background of course now if you press uh, up or down don't remember uh, you get this fully digital reading of the speed if you press to the right I think you get larger fonts or you go back if you press again you go back to the original default uh, font on the right. If you press for a couple of seconds the knob upwards, you get the this analog speedometer. And again, if you press left, you can get the, uh, the background that you chose. Or if you press for a couple of seconds continuously left, you can change the theme of the speedometer. But when you're uh, stationary, the colors uh, actually do not change. They only change when you move. So you, you get this speedometer, the analog one, with uh, the max rev counter on the bottom. If you press upwards, you can change between uh, kilometers per hour or miles per hour. Now I cycle through all these color schemes. Again, they do not change while you're stationary. They only change when you are moving. It is actually very responsive, very fast. You can change everything very fast. Once you get to know it, it's uh, very easy to change everything. Now you see my background in the original uh, entertainment menu of the, my, of the Mazda infotainment system. As you can see again, I can scroll from top to bottom and directly to the top. A bit of a video here while moving, while driving the car. You can see the speedometer on the left, you can see the rev counter.
looks very nice it's very beautiful I wonder why Mazda did not include this in the original infotainment system as you can see it's a very hot day in Greece with uh, 36 37 degrees And now this is the Wi-Fi uh, dongle that I got uh, in order to connect my phone wirelessly with uh, the Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, whatever you have. I have uh, Android Auto uh, wirelessly. Uh, so I changed the USB unit uh, to a newer one that uh, includes the uh, Android Auto it uh, wirelessly so about this uh, dongle about another one that was uh, larger uh, last week about this one it's very small you leave it on the, the USB port it's very small it's very nice uh, very fast very responsive you can see here how you change from the different uh, applications that you want to use this is one of the um, players I'm using in my car. Uh, 